another another workshop but the the difference of this workshop will be pay attention now the difference of this workshop will be now uh, uh, we will have again another group so we will make a numbering on that group so after that uh, form the group you like yesterday you meet them meet together and you pray asking the holy spirit to anoint this group mm. to pray for the church in ireland amen and then you say lord anoint me anoint this group to pray for the church in ireland and then you wait what oh holy spirit what we must pray for which area church has so many areas to pray for so holy spirit will inspire every person a, 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 we call it a burden or a a, a a a particular prophetic word or a message to pray for that area of the church so some maybe for the priests for the bishops for the young people for the lay people for the families for so many things in the church so in that direction you may see a vision you may see hearing the voice you may so that is also a way the holy spirit work in the charism the charism okay through the charism through the visions through the word of knowledge holy spirit help us to help the church then when you get that message so you, you should have one person as a leader of this group you choose one person as a leader of that group that leader should guide the group in the time planning etc otherwise one person will keep on speaking so many things that will be controlled <coughs> and then after getting suppose there are five people five people will speak what they are getting inspiration from the holy spirit to pray for the church so you get the sharing of all the five people then one by one you pray for that intention when we pray for that intention then again so in this prayer the gift of prayer is activated and the vision or prophecy or messages everything will start working there okay and then the holy spirit will lead you that is a type of uh, prayer how the holy spirit through the charisms lead the prayer through the charisms okay and you may feel it is strange but you see how it is going to work you will find again excitement <laughs> okay so now we will have six groups i guess today okay six or five is it five enough five hmm? five five enough okay so count from this side there is a difference otherwise paul will be always in <laughs> yeah let's see how will be you say or uh, take from uh, michael 1 okay 5 1 2 3 4 5 yeah 1 2 3 4 5 5 Yeah, you are not in the group. No. Okay. So, yeah, but you can continue up to that time. Oh, it's already good. Okay, it's okay. So you, one.
No, because he's, the, 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 what happened was the big back here. So now you've done it now? Is it clear numbers? No. So what? So who's going to mass? Two of you. So the other two didn't start. Yeah. Mary, you're one. Okay. Two. Genesis three. Three. And Gary is four. Mm -hmm. Sandra is five. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. That's so all those group number one stay here. All those who are number one, please come this corner near Michael. Please come. Take up your mat and walk. <laughs> Yeah, or we can take the chairs here. Group number two, this side. Group number two, come on this side. Group number two, come on this side. Group number three, extreme order there. On my left side. Group number three, uh, uh, my left side, left side corner. Group number four, my right side corner. Group number five in the middle. 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 Group number two. This is number, yeah. this is number one, yes. Come on, start. Stay? I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. They want to go to mass and confession. So? Okay. Okay. One time are you back here? You're back here. What time? You see, there's half a lemon, so there are most of them. Everybody's in Germany. How will we be here to now? Yeah, we break for lunch at 10 o'clock. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, for the power of the of Mary, our Virgin Mother, Saint Joseph, our Virgin Father, all your holy angels, all your saints, all your souls, for the power of the Holy Spirit, for your presence, for your divine will. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for coming into our presence. Tonight is in your love. That our conversation is a your precious Come, Holy Spirit, guide, direct. Come, Holy Spirit, guide, Come, Holy Spirit, guide, direct. 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 Come, Holy Spirit, gu
for the church and what for the church in Ireland and what, what the Lord is putting on our heart for the church. But, right. So what's coming to you, Mary? Can I just share? Now, what was coming to me was, and first of all, it's kind of like what Jesus said. Like, the, the first word I got was, I am the vine. You are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. But apart from each other, you can do nothing. Okay? And then what was coming to me was communion is the space in which God wants. So we have to be in union. And then the hymn that came to me was, we are one in the spirit, we are one Lord. And then come back to me, come back to me and encounter me. And then adoration. But as I was doing that, what my wife did now, I was oriented on the consent of the Lord. Just like the miracle of the laws and fish. My wife, she just gave three or four women. We had lost our priest. So she started, and before the priest was there, he was kind of blocking it and God bless him. But then they could have stamped four or five women came together, and they started praying the rosary first. So they could tell they arranged to meet in the morning and pray the rosary. And then the out and pray the rosary. Yeah, yeah. My wife then went to the, to the, to the, to the priest in the cluster. And, asked for adoration. and then what was happening was, then what happened was that not only there was three churches that were just going to have adoration, now they're having adoration in the three churches. So it is true. But the key was, the key was, the key was they were all in the people had to do it. And it was this unity, and they just very, very gently started praying to all the so, And then what I wrote down here was, um, yeah, rebuild, rebuild my temple. But we're into rebuilding it. It's rebuilding it. It's the temple. The temple here, yeah, exactly. So I will teach, and then he says, I will teach you step by step, which is why he's talking about smart. So, and then bring all your needs uh, to our lady. So our lady, 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So bring all our needs to our aid. Beautiful. Yes, amen. Yeah. Yes. So, what it means is that see, we think it's a big. It's, really, it's not. He said, "I will teach you step by step." If we let him, and you see, now in fairness, this little group, don't you? Three or four women. So, so, so when you, and it, it just starts. In fairness, my wife, in fairness to she got the inspiration. She and she just got the women together, and then it just opened, and then and, and the blessings are coming. Right? And it's just so simple, so so simple. So it goes back. So it goes back. It's Jesus said, and you see, the thing about it was that if you take, if you take the miracle of blows and fishes, like this, what was it? Just feed them. But what happened is they gave what they had, and then he blessed it, so it was anointed. So if so, if, so the anointing. But there can be no anointing if there's disunity. And if it was their own, it wasn't there. It was by the promptings at all. No, exactly. It's coming yes. down. It'll be again. So, so it was an anointed. So you can only look. So it, and it was just step by step, very, very simple. And now the adoration is in three churches. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Yeah. Yeah. But, but the key thing is that you only is, is, is to listen and then just bring if one person gets one person gets the inspiration and then draws others who, who have the, the same there's clarity in it that they see if you bring you can bring in good people and they're all coming with their own agenda so they all came in unity so that's the key you better if you only have two that are in unity it's better off than having 52 or in this unity so that was the key come in unity but, but but be guided by the spirit it can't be your own agenda because are you representing jesus so people can come up with great ideas but you need to wait on the holy spirit that's their own agenda so, 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 so nothing is impossible. As, as Thomas Paul says, nothing is impossible. But you took God, and He said, you don't need anyone to teach you. You don't need anyone to teach you. You just go on the front of the Lord. It's not. So that's basic. So, Amen. So, so that's basic. It's, it's, it's coming with what we have, and then we, 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 we offer this to Jesus. Then He blesses it, and then it's anointed, and then we go out. And but see, which was very, very interesting. Jesus was handing it to them. They weren't taking it themselves. Sometimes we take it ourselves. So that's the other part. You, you really need to go through it. He handed it. And when Jesus is handing you something, it's an item and blessing for him not to worry about. Just be obedient to it. Amen. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't take it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, and my wife just done that in a very, very gentle mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, it's all we can. We have to activate it. Yeah. Yeah. And also, see, every time the day, your day is like driving a car. How many times do you go through a stop sign? How many times do you go through a red light? Do you stop and wait for the green light? See, we don't stop and wait for the green light. We hear something from God, then we go straight through. If you go straight through, you want to crash. So, so you have to wait for the green light. So it's being patient as well. And, allow, and, and not being and trusting God in it and, and it'll happen just very very gentle very very simple it's the mustard seed yeah, in the mustard not that no. yeah. you, you, you don't go ahead of God we don't go we don't get go ahead we don't get so it's, he will teach us step by step moment by moment and he, as he said in the reading yesterday it was that we have to be like a sheep a sheep can you imagine okay so what we're saying is, so a sheep shuts its ears off 
Oh, I, I'm only going to open my ears when I go into adoration. I'm only going to, the sheep has to have his ear open 24 7. Or else the wolf is going to come. What is it? What is it? So, and, and if we have the Holy Spirit in it, well then, it's there all then. But we, we go into our own self and we have to, be, we have to be obedient to the Spirit. And did you hear what, did you hear what Father Thomas Paul says? God can sometimes do Oh no, I don't want to do that. I'm asking you. How, do we know better than God? Just, you know? So, okay, sorry Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Unity, yes, coming together in the little seed, even the little monster seed of, of that. Well, we, we, can use, we can use that example. Of, yes, yeah, but, but the rosary, start, they started it off with just with what they had. They didn't. So, in other words, right, they. See, you have to till the soil before. See, some people could go, I think that way, to go straight in and say, we want adoration. So you see. Yeah, so, 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 so what they did was they brought the intention. So the first thing is, okay, would this be right? Yeah, yeah. So would this be right? Yeah. Would this be right and say this? That they brought the intention to Our Lady and then Our Lady opened the doors to them. So, yes, yeah. so, 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 so they said yes. So they started off. Just a few little women coming together, uh, praying to Our Lady, and then, then they were inspired through that, but also to put the, there was a, a tremendous unity. That was the key. There was the, the apart from you, and and they and they listened and they were taught step by step. That's would it, would we be great? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Do you know what we'll do now? Okay, well, we'll go back in for about two uh, minutes silence. Because uh, and call the Holy Spirit to reveal now. Come on. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we beg you now to enlighten our hearts and open our minds to understand what you are saying to us, to each other. So, and, and then we get what's the clarity of what we feel from what, from what we've heard now. What do we feel the Holy Spirit? Be saying to us. So let's, let's get set up to the car. That off with you, Michael. So, from from everything that you heard, now what do you feel the Holy Spirit is saying to us? Yeah, you got vision. Van. Well, I mean, you're going, you're going ahead with all. Jesus has given you all the equipment, so you have everything that you need. So, just draw on, open the box, and, and okay, so, so, oh, brilliant. Okay, can you pay? Yeah. 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 
So no, what I'm getting from that, God has, as, as he said, God has given us everything we need, so there's nothing that we need, we just need to listen and be obedient to what he's asking us to do. What? Okay, yeah, 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 okay. So, 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 so the first part of it is, so just to get clarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so to get clarity on this is that, that everything is there for us. And, no, and now we have to listen and be obedient to what he's asking us to do. Is that right? Yeah, if that's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. and the thing about it is because the, I told you the you, because you the, oh, 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 and because see the thing about it but this is the fascinating thing about us even if the priest doesn't know what happens is that if we're obedient Jesus as long as we're obedient Jesus will change the priest so the priest then will be open pray for prayer yeah, yeah, that's it yeah, that's the prayer that's the prayer Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Amen. So, so, so basically now, just to get, to get, and is everyone in agreement with it? So, Michael got the vision of the van and the tools. Then he got the vision of Jesus is the, the driver, and we're the co, and we're the co-workers. So we're the co-workers, and he has given us everything in this van. We have everything we need, which is from our baptism. So we've all the blessings, and then, so we, and then, what you got, Mary, we have to. But we, what our role is, what our role is, that that we're the servants and handmaids, and the function of the servant and the handmaid is to desire only to do his will, and then listen to what he's asking us to do. So we're the, is that whatever you write? Okay. Yeah, now you should complete this discussion and make any session. Well, that, I, that's confirmation because, because see, we have to build each other up, we have to support each other. So, 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 you, you, so we're all called. Oh, yeah, we have it. Oh, no, 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 no. The thing is that, that, that this is only starting now. Oh, so, no, 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 what I'm trying to say is that, that I'm, what I love is that what I do is I could arrange to invite all the people. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I'm just, I, I'm just saying, I'll be obedient to it, yeah. Look, because it, it could happen, oh, I totally agree with you, Peggy, yeah. Amen. So, okay, so we're all called for a mission and we need to support each other. Is that what you're saying? Are you happy with that? Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
snakes and lambs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Snakes will take the lambs, yeah. <coughs> yes, yes, yes. We're all in it. 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 We're all no, 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 you're inspired of this, Michael, not inspired. So, so. Oh. So now what? Yes. Yes. Now, 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 what happens in this is we all, first of all, we all went into silence and the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit revealed to us. Then we now, then we've come along and then we, we shared what we heard the Holy Spirit saying to each other. So now, just to get full clarity on it, what this is, what do you feel from all of this now, Peggy? is we when, we're, when we come into a thing like this is we focus on ourselves and we're only the drop whereas we we're blind to the ocean like I mean Jesus is giving us an ocean of blessings and what we're doing is we're, we're sticking the pebble of our self in it and blocking the whole thing Yes. 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 But, 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 but we're too focused. We're too focused on the drop, and, 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 and we're blind to the ocean. Can you imagine that? Yeah. And remember this. Yeah, yeah. And the ocean. It's our living waters. And, and, and the living waters. The living waters. The living waters. So we're surrounded with the light. And the thing about and as well as that, the thing, do you know what's happening? This image I'm getting. 
that you see in the Bible, you have more to choose the Dead Sea. We could be in the Dead Sea instead of this. There's an all of Ireland. We're living drop and the sea and the sea and it's all there. But we're blocking it. We're blocking it. We're the ones that block it. We have no outlet. We have no outlet. Exactly. Because we're Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, all the graces. And then, we were standing on a nineteenth side. Very good. Okay. Yes, amen. So now, this is big. Amen. Woo! <laughs> it has been revealed. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray, Jesus. We pray. So basically, this is we have uh, to the table about the table. That the bishop that's what's blocking uh, it. Uh, that's where the block and all these things. Yes, that's not very important. How about Jesus? How am I blocking you? Didn't you say it was like the elder brother? We're blind. Yes, 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 we're blind. And did you see it? I've done my phone. The greatest grace, St. Francis of Sissi says, the greatest grace that Jesus gave us is to help us to overcome self. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, I often think that that was, was this priest and, and Peggy's yeah. witness. Yeah. But you know the priest uh, in the 19th? No, 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 this is not a trust. No, it's not going to because when I explain it, because it was this priest again, yeah, yeah. you know, in, in Birmingham, what's the name of the priest? Right? Father, Father Savior Khan, what's the next priest in life? Father Soji. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, I know, but I'm just sharing the dead and wicked. And, 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 and the, 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 the people who are operate, and, and then he says, yeah. What is the problem? And she says, You are the problem. So he said, We are the problem. We are the problem. We are the problem, and Jesus is the solution. Yeah. So. No, no, no. Okay, now are we all excited? Michael, so summarize it the whole. Okay, oh yeah, it's all here, yeah, okay. So basically, what it is is that, that Jesus wants to bless Ireland. We are a little island and we're surrounded by graces and the water, and the water is the living water. And we have to be, so it's all available to us, but are, are, are we blocking it? And, and it's ourselves. So much like that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because we're focusing on the wrong. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So the silence is the same as so, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, 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 with the good side of it. Well, I, I think, I think Peggy Neal, so I apologize. I should have been, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I think what you're saying here, yeah, but I think what Peggy is saying nails yeah. everything. And what she's saying is that we need to be fed. Then, I explained that before. Though. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, we need, yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, yeah. so we need. So this is a time of of, of being fed, so like rather than going out on, on a see, the tools. See, have. Yeah, but you see the things? Yeah, but, but then we have to be committed to being formed. 
and that's it. And the one major, yes. No, 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 but I'm just sharing this with my church. Thank you. So. Like, well, okay. Yeah, for what I'm saying, this is the vision, but now we have to equip ourselves with the tools. So now we have, in order, we have to bring, we have to bring alive what? Fan into fan into flame, fan into flame, fan into flame the gifts. Pardon? How do we not know what? Yes, 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 yes. No, no, but if you just start off with the inspiration, you get Jesus, I will teach you step by step. So you start off with the roses and build the casino. What happens was, didn't you just... Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so look, well, first of all, you had, as Peggy says, you're just, you're, you got the first desire right, which is praying for your priest. So that's number one. Now you're bringing a few people together in the body to pray for the head. So, uh, and it's really, and, and for your parish. So now, in obedience, that that's like bringing the fish, just, just bring what you have. And then, as you go along, allow this. So as you think about it, you're the leader. Now remember this, remember this, you are the co Jesus is the driver, so you have to listen to him. And as he says, I will teach you step by step. So you just take it step by step, as Mary says, in obedience. Right. And you have to check with him through the traffic lights. Because if you run with this and you start driving through every traffic light, you're going to crash. And that's what happens to our people. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes because she was getting married and, he, and, he, and, he, and it just happened that we met her and we shared with him and then, then he pulled down and said look now he was going to drive headlong this girl is getting married she was living with this guy but he was going to go along headlong on a mission because he feels he had to had to challenge her or whatever but you see as my wife said was that from himself or was it from the holy spirit that makes all the difference see that makes all the difference so to so, so anybody that that you have to wait and those who wait on the Lord yet will renew their strength. So, so are you representing yourself or are you representing Jesus? So just the, the beginning of wisdom is fear of God. So Jesus, am I representing you or am I representing myself? So you just ask yourself that question. Because I can I can be representing something out of an angle or out of a heart that I have. And I'm I'm like the Pharisee. Instead of instead of being Jesus to the woman at the well, like just, can you imagine if the Pharisees met the woman at the well? And, and you know, and you know, in the in the yeah, yeah, in, in the in the, the, the prodigal son elder brother. This is for me personally. I have to change from being the prodigal son elder brother to being the, the loving, caring father to my my world. So I have to have the heart. We have to have the heart of the father. The, exactly, the heart of the father. So we have to have the heart of the father. Other, because see the prodigals are out there but who will meet the prodigals will it be the will it be the elder brother or will it be or will it be the loving caring father oh yeah so we have to be the loving caring father now we could be totally right against the prodigal but we're we're not representing god we're representing ourselves
Yeah. What's that? We... Who, who's talking? Oh, we're, 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 oh, okay. Shout out to you. Shout out to Come on. Did you want to? Do? No, no, you were inspired. No, I'm not inspired. Today. You were inspired because if you're inspired, no, that's, sorry, Mike. You must always act on a trust but your own inspiration. Would you? No, play no. And, 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 and he says, please trust me more. I will speak to you. Amen. In the <laughs> so, well, Jeremiah 60? From where? From here? Dust, dust is like. Yeah, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where, did you, where, did you, where did you start up first? Yeah. 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 Jeremiah 6, 66. Yeah. 11. So if you're if you're saying Amen. There's always more. Okay. Remember, there's an ocean. <laughs> and we're, we limit the ocean, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's I apologies. Just to get clarity. You, you, the first bit you got was. The, can you tell me the first bit you got? Where did, where did you start from? No, no, no. But you started the first one. For those, yeah, that part. Yeah, don't start there. Just, 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 just. The first part is twelve to. The first bit you got was twelve to. Down as far as where would you say? This is sixty-six. Yeah, yeah. It's forty. Forty. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, if you know what came to me now as well as that, that we need to be servant and handmaid. So we need to be, that that's our role. Yeah, our role is, is the servants and handmaids. And that's why it took, it is present. The reason why there's so few miracles today is because I thought we servants and handmaids. Yeah. Yeah. And with his hand of the Lord, he's with his servants. Amen. Amen. Fourteen. No, no, it's fourteen. 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 No, no, no. Do you want me to read it now? So just, oh, no, no, but I'm saying it's just the... the, 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 the you, you read it, you read it, go ahead. You, you read exactly every... Go to what you got. 66, 14. Amen. With us, yes, with the servant, with the servant. And in order for that, we have to listen and be obedient. Amen. Amen. <laughs> no, that's it now. Are you all happy? Are you all excited? That's it. Thank you. Thank you for being inspired. Thank you for all the words. No, no, no. Thank you very, very much. You absolutely that nailed it. Amen. Hey, so say. Can I come to your table? We want to have 50 minutes here. Can you just go there? What is it? Yeah, that's for Aaron. Man, there is very, very. Sure, man. Man, there is for Aaron. Very much. Okay. Okay. We're ready. Yeah. Oh, sorry, apologies. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 I, I think we'll share when it's fresh. I think we'll share when it's fresh. Okay. Right. So we, we come back to the chairs and we have a sharing of what they have in the group. Okay? Okay. Then you can you share the Come back. Brother, we sit where we are. Because it, I think we'll sit where we are. Sit where we are. Oh, yes. oh, it's here, okay. You said you got them, I see. Always. Over the first one. Oh, yes. Oh, no, that, 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 that. I know, no, I know it's a net, but at least it needs to say that. Okay, right. Okay. Come on up. Come on up. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. But I want all of you, because we are a seam, we all share together. Okay. You have to sit down. Sit down, okay. Okay. So come yes. Pay attention now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what we did, we, we all called on the Holy Spirit and then just pray for Ireland. And then what came at the start was I am the vine, you are the branches. Yeah. Apart from me, you can do nothing. But sometimes we leave that as there's only one branch on the tree, but it's apart from each other, we can do nothing. And we can miss that. So apart from me, you can do nothing. But then as a group, apart from each other, we can do nothing. So that, and then what came was communion is the space in which God works. And then the hymn came, we are one in the spirit, we are one in the Lord, and they'll know we are Christians by our love and then to come back, come back to me and encounter me. And then what brought a little was, now this is tied in with the parish, was to pray for your priest. That's very, very important. Number one, pray for your priest. And then uh, evangelization, a uh, family crusade, 
uh, then catechism for children, and then what just came like this little, this little small parish where, where just one woman just got a group, of, and they, they had lost their priest. So just one, it's like the miracle of loaves and fishes. You come with what you have. So this woman just came with a little idea, so to be obedient to the Holy Spirit, got a few women to start praying the rosary in the church. And then out of that, they got the inspiration to do adoration in one of the churches. And next thing then, they went to the priest, and the priest said yes. But previous to that, they said no. And then, there was three churches in the parish, and next thing then, they, had, they got adoration in the three churches. So it's, it's, it's like the, the little seed, but the key was, with this big group was that they were in unity. And they had, the, they had one vision, they weren't coming with their own agendas, they weren't representing themselves. So then what we did was then, so everyone had kind of shared what they got, but then we, we went back in and shared again, okay, what is, so from after listening to each other, then what is the Holy Spirit saying to us? And then a person got a, vi a vision of a van with tools. Now, and Jesus is the driver, that's the main important. Like, I mean, do we sometimes put Jesus in the back with tools? Do you know? Mm -hmm. So he has to be the driver. If he's not the driver, Amen. so anything you do, if Jesus is not represent, if, if we have to ask ourselves the question, am I representing myself or Jesus? Now, we, can, we can come up with a good idea, but we don't, what we do is we run with the idea, and it's like driving through a traffic light. You're going to crash. It ain't going to work. So then Jesus, and we are, the, we're, and, and so we're the co-workers with all the tools. So he has given us everything, as Thomas Paul said this morning. Because of our, we're united, whatever, it's all there, it just has to be activated. So can you imagine a guy going out to do a job, right? And then he arrives, and the, the woman says, oh, oh, I have no tools. And then she goes, she looks in the back, oh, your van is full of tools. Oh, I was so blind. <coughs> oh. So we can be like that as well. So we have, and then we have, as the co-workers, we are the servants and the handmaids. That's the key thing. And a priest once said, the reason why there are so few miracles today is because there are so few servants and handmaids today. So few servants and handmaids. And what's the function of a servant and handmaid? Number one is to desire to do God's will, and then is to listen and be obedient to what he's asking us to do. So that's, so we're all, uh, oh yeah, <coughs> pray, and then out of that, so we have to listen and be obedient, so pray for your, your parish priest, servants and handmaids. We all, we all are called and we have a mission. And, we, we, and then what came to us was that even in this is to support each other. And with this group, like people, what happens in Ireland, we're running from one team to another. So what are we committed to? Like if, if I was, I'm married to my wife now. If I, if I was going around doing wonderful things for other women and helping them, would that be a great idea? So you have to be committed to wanting. We can commit to so many things, running here, running there, and really, and because that's tied in with Hebrews, the hearts are all over the place. So you, you must listen to just one voice and stay within the, stay with the sheep. So, and then we got a vision of Ireland. This was fascinating. So we got a vision of Ireland. Guess what? Ireland is surrounded by water. So water is the blessings. So we're, we're the little, Ireland is a little drop, and the ocean is everything that Jesus wants to give us. So we're surrounded by an ocean. Isn't that right? We're surrounded, surrounded by the ocean, and we're surrounded by the living waters. So, so do, and then the thing about it is that, see, he's given us an ocean. But guess what's blocking the ocean? The pebble of our self-will. So we need to remove the pebble of the self-will and then the oceans. Because if you, Thomas Paul, didn't share this before, it was, you know, there was the Dead Sea and then the other sea. And he said, what's the difference? Both of them, the same water's coming in. In both of them, the difference is that in one, the Dead Sea, it's receiving everything, but there's no outlet. So could we be the one, could we be the Dead Sea? Could we be the ones that are blocking all the graces that God wants to give? So we have to really look at ourselves and say, you know, because it's like that line, I have a problem, I am the problem, and Jesus is the solution. So that was really key. Da -da 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 -da. The pebble, uh, yeah. oh, and then about, we also got about the soil, and that's, that's if you go to Matthew 13, it's all about the, the, the soil, like the one who listens. Like, is the soil, have we a receptive ear to hear? Do we really hear 
what like do we hear what we want to hear do we run after what we, or do we really hear what jesus and to do that you have to sit with the word you have to wait on the holy spirit waiting on the holy spirit is like like at the traffic lights waiting for the green light and if we don't wait for the green light we crash okay so then fell in the flames uh, and then also the other thing was yes and it ties in within that if all of us come jesus will teach us step by step he's he's the teacher he will enlighten your heart he will open your mind he will do everything and then um oh yeah then then we went back and prayed a third time and then in when we prayed the third time we got a profound reading and michael is going to share with us michael would you share the reading there and it's isaiah it's isaiah 66 verse 14 just read verse 14. yeah we asked for reading we asked for reading we asked for reading for him so just let me god just give clarity yes do you know what I mean? Don't be afraid to ask him for clarity. Yeah. Yes, yes. With his servants. Now, so with the servants. So if we listen and if we're obedient, Jesus is with us. If we don't listen and we're not and disobedient, and we can be doing amazing things. He is not with us. We have cut ourselves off from So, and the bottom line is that what's our role? We need to be the servants and handmaids. And the function of a servant and a handmaid is very, very simple. You desire only to do God's will, and then you listen only to His voice. Amen. 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 Sorry, Sorry, at least you would like to hear the group. Pardon? Oh, yeah, fan into flame, I'll get it. <coughs> And I find myself in oh, Mother Mary. Yeah, and sorry. So the other key thing is that at the start of it, you call Our Lady. Our Lady mm -hmm. to intercede, and, and it was like that group. It was Our Lady through the Rosary, mm -hmm. but the unity of those women, a small little thing. And really, it's when you're discerning, a lot of times you're discerning between two, two good things. So someone can say, oh, go here, go there. Oh, there's only one of the nine so we need to always be obedient to the anointing. And uh, one act of obedience is greater than a whole year's sacrifice. So the blessings come through obedience. Any, our, our, ladies, yes. our ladies, yes. Our ladies, yes. So it has to be our... Anything else? Have we, have we covered everything? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Group number two. Yeah. 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 Group number two, please. Yes. 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 Um, in our group, uh, one person said about adoration and bringing the Eucharist out into the streets. We need processions. And it, one person said, about Father Gibbons, he brought during COVID the Eucharist from the Basilica out to the front gate. But also to mention, because Knock is known as the Eucharistic Marian Shrine of the world, why isn't there 24 hour continuous Amen. adoration here in Knock? Now that Kalala Diocese has been amalgamated with the Tune Diocese, we're big enough that somebody from each parish comes, even the islands. They're a part of Tomb Dices from Clare Island, Inish Turp. They come in when they have 33 hours adoration here. Why can't one person give up an hour to the population of Mayo and Galway and wherever else covers Tomb now? We're big enough to have it continuous mm -hmm. here. We're, we're doing more prayer on that particular issue at the moment. There are, a couple, there are people going to adoration places nearby now but not in knock itself 24 hours, so yeah, that is a project that we need to work more seriously on. And then we had about uh, pray for unity in the church, like we feel that there's a division between priests, pre some priests are more for the Catholic faith, others are weaker in their faith, and looking for division in the church. And one person, the word came to divide and conquer, and Jesus is always with us. Uh, another person said about we need to have confessions. There's one parish, there's, uh, there's no confessions as, as such. They have to come to knock to get confessions. 
and some people don't realize what sin is nowadays. Um, also, we need to try and promote what used to be here in Ireland years ago. Sunday is a day of worship and keep us as a family day and try to get the large shops and small shops to close down. It was only last week I saw on telly where the Orkney Islands, Tesco is trying to come in. I think they're already there, but they're trying to open the shop now on the Sunday. And the people of the Orkney Islands are coming out against us. They want to keep Sunday as a family day. So we have to pray and try to do that, go back to the old Ireland. We also have the rosary. The rosary is the basic. Our lady said she would help us is through the rosary. I brought in a picture yesterday that I got in Medjugorje. On the 29th of September 2019, a man was sketching. I was going up Apparition Hill. On the way back, he was at the roadside. He asked, would I buy it? I did buy it, and I have framed it, and I have it in my house. I bought it in yesterday to share it with you. I had it on the window down there. And our lady had the rosary beads in her hand, and she wants the rosary. And rosary will conquer and bring unity in the world and the last. Even to start with kids, family homes, ourselves. Um, we need to pray for priests, the word of God, priests, and maybe Sunday school for kids. Because parents are not bringing them. It's football, it's soccer, it's this, that, and the other. If we could get them to, to chapels, and some chapels have a crying chapel attached to us, and bring them in there, show them Brother Thomas Paul's videos. Amen. We don't have to do anything else, just put up the screen, Amen. produce the videos, offer mobiles, up on the screen, where we keep the kids quiet and let the priests preach in the. the Mass in the church. We also said about well, priests are not preaching the word of God, it's not getting through to the people. We need to go back to the basics, pray for them that they will preach the word of God, teach us the Catholicism like Brother Thomas has done this morning. Also, we said um, they're telling us on Midwest Radio that our churches are going to close and we're going to have no priests, and that's why. I participated in the lay leadership course in the Kalala Diocese to help out, and I've chosen the funeral ministry to help out in this. Um, but what we need to do, okay, we're getting some vocations in Ireland, but it takes seven years to train a priest to pray that we can some have some African priests and Indian priests that's on yes. fire and bring them in, because in seven years' time, if we're going to wait, our faith is going to be completely gone. We can't wait that lint. So Could we, we have we pray just for that intention. Yeah, for priests. Yeah. Pray for priests. Mm -hmm. That yeah. the bishop, that uh, our cardinal up, yeah. uh, Cardinal Martin. J what's his name? Mm -hmm. uh, Amen. 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 Martin Amen. will go to the Pope if, ha if he has to go to the Pope to bring in some Indian priests, African Amen. priests. We can't wait seven or ten years. Yeah. By then the faith will be completely gone in Ireland, wiped out. Yeah. We need to do it now. Yeah. Now, because they're on fire. I go to retreats in Donegal, Father Luke was there, he's African. I'm nearly sure Father Luke is African. He's unreal. Mm. He obviously taught in a school in Tullamore or mm. Jarlitz. He's unreal. He's really on fire. I've seen Father Cosmos at the retreats. There's another priest that came from Finland down. He was African. They're unreal compared to our Irish. Yeah. Priests are gone so timid and into themselves. Obviously, that they're being closed yeah. down and not allowed to yeah. preach properly. We need to get different blood in to enkindle them yeah. with the fire of God. So let us pray for that. Yeah, and pray for the bishops. And pray for the bishops, yeah. Tarish, it to for all this to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now the next. Thank you very much. Yeah. Group number three. Group number three, please. Group number three. Would 
didn't write anything down. <laughs> this was from memory. Hello, my name is Karen. Um, so we uh, we prayed, and um, St. Patrick came very strongly to us that we need to invoke St. Patrick uh, to come back, and um, that came very strongly to all of us. And uh, a person got an image of feed feed the lambs um, that was very strong. And I got the image of um, snakes, little snakes, that were carrying lambs away to the slaughter. And um, that, I think, we, yeah, we know what that means. Yeah. But we also got an image of um, the heart of Ireland beating, pumping. And it was alive and well, and it's still there, very strong. And hearts, love hearts came out. And St. Patrick was very much strong. And a lady in our group spoke about how she um, brought a relic, first class relic, to the top of Crow Patrick and did a mass up there with a priest uh, to bless Ireland. And we have to remember that Archbishop Martin um, did that fire last year with Dana on Slane Hill, and that was set everything on fire. Father Mockler also said that that was huge that the fires are going to be inflamed again, the little fires will start again, and that Ireland will be back again. So important Ireland is to the heart of God. And was in Ballantubber as well. And Ballantubber as well. I was in Medjugorje for two weeks, they had Bishop Arthur's Martin. They spent a month praying on the Tara Hill, digging up all those yokes that they witchcraft had put down before that event could take place. Mm. They spent a month on Tara Hill before that could take place. Well, as, far, as, bro as Brother said, the devil's only a creature. And we have to remember, and we have to remember that we are, what, this is what I'm learning, is that we have, we have the Lord, we have the Trinity in us now, and we need to claim that now as Irish people and set, and I suppose we, we need to go out there now and just preach to the people or tell the people who we what our real identity is. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Can I just cool. say we had Patrick long ago, but praise and thank the Lord mm. we mm. have another I Patrick. Yeah. 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 We, we need this guy back in Ireland. You've got to come back. No, no, no. I just um we also got the image of uh, little Patrick's all over Ireland. And that represents the remnant. We're going to be all little Patricks and be on fire. We also spoke about like um, uh, someone got um, we need to feed, you know, the, like little babies, you know, baby food because we have not been catechized. Even an 80 year old the other day said to me, how, um, they said to me, who wrote the Bible? You know, and you're like, what? Wow. So they just have no clue what their faith is. So we need to feed again the, the people and really like get put up workshops. But I suppose the Holy Spirit today, I think that's maybe why the talk was this morning, is exactly. we need to know what we can do to go out there and preach, yeah. you know, with our charisms, yeah. what we can do to people. Because it's so sad. People genuinely don't know who they are. So and, praise and, uh, God. Yeah. That's very, very important then formation that comes from this is why we need to come back again because if we go out because uh, we got the image of, of the tools and the mm -hmm. if we if we go out a lot of time we're going out and we're not equipped so we really have to to know the Bible mm -hmm. we need to know the Catholic so we need to be formed in our faith otherwise we're only deceived ourselves. Would you agree with our counterpart? This is why the Lord has inspired very others yeah, that's that's part part to come back every two months. But but the thing about it is that if you're well. if you're running it's like running here or running here. Yeah, I noticed that, John, is that a lot of people are actually preaching their faith and not knowing their catechism. Exactly. For example, exactly. spiritual pride can come in. Exactly. You know, like people are kind of poo-pooing things that are actually allowed by the Miss Magisterium. Yes. And I know, and giving out about the Pope, and I understand there are issues, but in this catechism, it's very clear mm -hmm. that we are not to do certain things. And it may look weak, you know, uh, you know the way we have to pray for things. Um, but a lot of people just don't know their faith, and even people are just preaching things that are just not Catholic, mm -hmm. and, and they think they are. That's it. Anyway, and, that's and, it. And, and we found that this guy, I, I was sharing the word of God with this guy who had a ministry, mm -hmm. and next thing then I met him two weeks later, and he says, now I know why you're angry. I said, why, why? He said, the one thing I was missing in my ministry was the word of God. I said, you were missing everything. 
Thank you. I just want to say on the work, I last year I came back from the retreats in Donegal and I probably was on fire with the Holy Spirit and I went to my parish and I wanted to set up, set up life in the Spirit. What was life in the Spirit? I was asked by the priest. I know. And I done all the groundwork, I got a hotel, the whole lot, I had people organised and I didn't mind it. If I didn't get enough of money, from people who covered the event, I was prepared to cover the event. But the thing is, I suppose when that happens, what I've decided is just maybe it's not God's timing. Yeah. Do you know? And we just have to give in to that, that it's, oh, you know, I yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I but it. I it's, yeah, okay. yeah, well, well done. The next yeah. group, yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you, Betty. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's do number four. Number four. No, no. Number four. So um, we, we began by, by interceding for the for the church as in the clergy but in the oh, I have one here. So. The you should know the charisms. <laughs> what do you have? Okay. Yes. Um, so we, we uh, Marcus and uh, there were three of us, well, just three of us, so we said we were a holy trinity anyway, <laughs> small. So we, we spent time um, calling down the, the Holy Spirit on the, the church. And then I gave a picture of, of um, uh, issues here that we, we've gone through with um, the I suppose the abuse crisis and uh, the the bishops not uh, you know being the bishops they should be um, and um, uh, Marcus got words um, he said that the bishops must accept and obey the teaching of the Pope catechism uh, catechism Bible and teaching of the church um, and um, I, you know, I said that that had been an issue because uh, we, we did reparation. We covered different areas: reparation, intercession, and so forth. We did reparation as well for what, uh, you know, the Pope Benedict at one point, you know, asked us to do uh, an atonement for the abuse crisis, and uh, the bishops at the time were very much, you know, it's your problem. It wasn't. Yeah, they were. The, the, they didn't listen to the Pope and um, so yeah, that, that certainly was true so we, we prayed in reparation for that for what the church has done wrong um, we also got that we need um, more devotion to the Blessed Mother Mary um, that was a traditional thing in Ireland um, the rosary kept us going through the penal times um, so um, our priests um, uh, we need to, to, to bring back, we, we need to promote uh, more devotion, the clergy need to have more devotion again to our Blessed Lady uh, for the guidance. Um, they must celebrate the sacraments with more love and compassion uh, and a big devotion to Mother Mary for the whole of Ireland is very much important. Um, scripture, um, we've got from 43 Three. Um, uh, for, yeah, I say, I fear not, for I have redeemed you. I've called you by your name. You are mine. I see and it, it, yeah, I see it forty-three, and you can read down as far as from 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 one from uh, from uh, forty-three from one to from one to thirteen. It's it's all it's all quite good on the church. And then afterwards, we got um, we got a, a, a reading again. It was to do with we were. Um, I think it was to do with the, the church not being centered on Christ, being kind of a, you know false religion and that. Um, from Isaiah um, forty four six, thus says the Lord, Israel's King, His Redeemer, the Lord of Hosts. I am the first and I am the last. There is no other God besides me. Who then is like me? Let him stand up and speak. 
let him declare and argue out with me, who from the beginning has foretold the future events. I don't know if that's a bit, but I hear. Yes, okay. Thank right. you. Thanks. 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 Now the next group, yes. Can I talk for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm jumping, I'm jumping the queue, but I feel that the Holy Spirit is telling me to say something. No. You are Paul. I am Paul. I got no message at the beginning. <laughs> but uh, I, I feel this is the strongest one I got. And uh, when we're praying, it's when we're praying for the church, it said, "Feed my lamb, feed my lamb, feed my lamb." And that was coming to me. And then I just kept quiet. I didn't say anything. But I said, "What do you mean, feed my lamb?" And it, I, I think the Holy Spirit showed me, me. He said, you go, to, you go to the church every morning, you do your adoration, you do your rosary, you, and, and you do your mass, you do all these, but if you don't feed me, lamb, you're wasting your time. That's the message I was getting. And I find, um, I was told, the more you go to the adoration, the more our Lord will reveal more to you and draw us in. And, and that message was coming very strong, and I just thought I'd share that, that I was sort of wasting me time if I'm not doing the Lord's work on the ground. And I feel that's the only way that we're going to bring crowds yeah. back to the church yeah. is yeah. to feed the lamb. Because we're all lambs, yes. Yeah. So, thank you. Yeah. 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 So feed the lamb means you have to teach them, you have to give them the word of God, and you have to give them the catechism of the Catholic Church to teach the real faith yeah. from the grassroots level. Is that? That's what I was getting. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Okay. And what is the next group? Yes, group. Yeah. Is group number five? Group number five, yeah. Okay, My name is Anne, and um, we pr when we pray to the Holy Spirit, the first thing we got was to pray for the shepherds of the flock. Mm -hmm. And uh, what came out of that with further prayer was um, the lack of courage in our shepherds at the moment, uh, as well as ourselves, but the lack of courage for priests to speak out about um, the truth. And um, they're quite content to allow the church bulletin to have uh, notices on the likes of yoga and bingo and all of those um, secular things instead of um, maybe having a bulletin with a little bit on the saint of the day or some important piece from scripture. Um, we also got that, um, how wonderful it, uh, what um, Brother Thomas has with the, um, the children's, um, I was going to say cartoons, with the catechism, and how wonderful it would be to bring that into um, a Sunday school. But at the moment, Sunday school will be competing with the likes of GEA and uh, all of those other um, things that go on in our community <coughs> and finding space for that. And um, But the, the good news was that there's um, wonderful green shoots at the moment, locally anyway, with the uh, children of the Eucharist and um, the children's rosary being promoted. And yeah, and they're going into the national schools um, another uh, lady got that the Catholic religion needs to be taught to the parents as well because if they're not getting it in school, um, they're definitely not getting it at home because the faith has been lost to this generation of parents that have children in national school at this stage. And um, so it's in order for us to be able to evangelize, we need we need to uh, become, uh, or to have more courage ourselves, we need to uh, continue evangelizing ourselves Amen. and becoming uh, stronger in our catechism and our God's word. And let me see, was there anything else? Yeah, I think that's basically it. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. First Holy Communion class is being taken out of 
Okay. So we have to pray for all these things. That's okay. the first thing. Okay. Yes. You want to say something? Come down. Just one more. One, one sentence only. Yeah. Please. No. Okay. Yes. Do you remember the mass rock as well? The mass rock as well, don't you? Wasn't the mass rock here in the year? Mass rock. And faith of fathers. Well, faith of fathers. The faith of fathers has bestowed more. It's so powerful. I'll just say one, just one, one sentence. Um, this priest, you all know, I don't name him because it's online. Um, he, preached, he preached the truth. And the truth sets us free. We're not, we're all tied up. In, it's it's mostly all old, uh, all these happy tappy, lovey dovey homilies. They'll get, it's demonic deception. It's pure deceiving to hold out to people. The truth sets us free. This priest, you know him very well, he comes to knock very often. And we have to get, the priests have to, have to preach the truth. This happy tappy, lovey dovey, is telling us nothing at Mass. And, uh, we have to pray for priests to preach the truth, yes. and all this craze about uh, mean Mary, mean all it has to be talked, has to be t talked, spoken from the altars. The other day, I talked to a man. The other day, he's back from Medjugorje. This priest, he has to preach the other day from Italy. How come all this, all this LGBT gone crazy? It's an infestation of spirits. Anyone he prays over, they're coming perfectly, <coughs> perfectly right. You know, and all this, uh, the truth. The number one is the truth has to be preached. All respect to the priests. I thought they're bombarded not to preach the truth because the congregation would walk out. But these, these people that walk out are walking in darkness. That's all. Okay, so now quickly we pray for all these inventions. Let us raise our hands and pray. Oh Lord, we thank and praise God for all these inspirations. That this is given us such a burden, such a responsibility. How much uh, we have to pray for the church, we have for the priest, Pray for the new ministries, all these informations we got through the Blessed Mother. We lift up all these intentions and we now start praying for all these things. Now we pray. Hallelujah. We believe that you will surely renew the church. You will surely renew the church. Oh, Blessed Mother. You will surely renew the church. You are there in our boat. Jesus, you are in our boat. We are not afraid. We believe you are in our boat. You will raise all the needs in the appropriate time. We pray, hallelujah. Come, Holy Spirit. Give us a new Pentecost. Give us a new Pentecost. Renew the priests. Renew the bishops. Renew the lay people. You have the right teaching. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Give me oil in my life. Give me oil in my life. I pray. Give me oil in my life. Give me oil in my life. Now we have to conclude. So we conclude now and we go for lunch now quickly. How long you need for lunch now? Can you come back in 45 minutes or?